guys, Paul here from DCL Performance. Today, what I want to do is talk to you about what supplements we recommend to our clients to get the best results. There is a lot of supplements out there. If you go into any supplement store, you're going to see shelf upon shelf upon shelf absolutely bursting at the seams of supplements. Unfortunately, not a lot of them are good for you and not a lot of them are going to do anything to improve your results. What I want to talk to you about today is one of the five supplements that we recommend to all of our clients to get the best results but they're backed by research and backed by science and are cheap, easy, and are non-harmful to your body. So we'll start with the beginning. The first supplement we recommend to all our clients is whey protein isolate. This is a brand we use, professional whey, very clean, very high quality product. We need whey protein to help improve our recovery after workouts. It's extremely digestible, very absorbable, has a high utilization rate, and is really just a simple, stable supplement that you should have. We recommend that you have it after a workout or during a workout. We've got another video showing you how we put together our workout supplements. Now the next one we recommend is a carbohydrate formula. You need carbs to fuel yourself through hard, intense training. It is really hard to train when you're in a carb depleted state. That's why we don't really recommend extreme low carb diets. In fact, for barely any of our clients, they go on a low carb diet. So something like a simple dextrose or a maltodextrin power can work just fine. Carb powders are great because you're going to use them in a high volume, but they're really, really cheap. We get out at like 5 kilos of 25 bucks, which is great value and it's going to supply you for ages on your workouts. Now we're going to talk about one that we have at night. Eating at night is an area where it's a little bit hard to tell what's going on. Should you eat right before you go to bed? Should you wake up in the middle of the night to have a protein supplement? Should you eat in the middle of the night to help build muscle? The simplest solution to that is to have what's called a casein supplement at night. So here's one here. Protein powder, what we do is we blend it with some kind of fats, like a nut butter or something like that. It makes a nice tasting drink. Ideally, what you want to do is have that right before you go to bed, if you can tolerate it. Of course, if you get digestive symptoms, don't do it. Do something different, have it a little bit earlier. What this is going to do, casein takes a long time to break down. It forms a bolus in the stomach, which basically means like a lump, for lack of a better word and it takes about eight hours for the amino acids to be broken down and assimilated into your bloodstream. So this is gonna allow you to keep building tissue and recovering throughout the night when you sleep. The next supplement we recommend for people who wanna improve their performance is creatine monohydrate. Creatine is an absolutely awesome supplement for improving your ATP PC levels, your levels of explosive strength, your strength endurance, a lot of different things. It's also extremely valuable for mental health. It's very powerful at improving the quality of our brains and staving off age-related brain diseases. There's a lot of controversy about creatine and people having problems with it, how it can cause high blood pressure and kidney problems. Don't be a jackass. Basically, just have a small amount of creatine. Five grams a day in your shake with your workout is absolutely perfect for it. The problems come when people take creatine that is low with lots of other different stuff and they overdo it. Be sensible, follow the instructions, you'll get all the results and none of the detrimental factors. And the last supplement we recommend to people, which really isn't, you can take it as a supplement, but it's also a food, is caffeine. So here's, here's a coffee. You can have this as your pre-workout. A lot of people will go in stores and they'll try and buy the most advanced pre-workout supplement they can have. It's filled with caffeine, with uh, guarana, with all these other stimulants. And by taking too much of these stimulants, you're actually going to really stress your body and you're going to adapt to it. So after a period of time, all these stimulants won't have any effect on your body. You're not going to get anything out of them, so you don't want to be taking them. Caffeine is perfect. You can take it in coffee form or you can take it in a supplemental form. What we do recommend with caffeine, and this also actually applies to the creatine, is that you cycle it so your body never fully adapts to it. Take caffeine for a month or two, take a couple of weeks off. This is going to keep your body unadapted to caffeine, so when you do take it, you are going to get that energy boost. One thing that, uh, one caveat to go with that is try not to have caffeine if you work out at night before you work out. One of the key things that you need to do to get the most out of your workout, the best results, and the most out of your body is sleep. And caffeine, in a lot of people, will affect the quality and the quantity of your sleep. We ideally want between seven and eight hours of solid deep sleep. Having a uh, coffee drink at about six o'clock before a 6.30 workout is definitely going to impair that. Caffeine will sit in the body for around eight hours. So if you're having caffeine, make sure you train in the morning. 
Of course, have a coffee in the morning, that's absolutely cool. Just don't have one within eight hours of when you plan to go to sleep. Cool guys, so just to recap, the five supplements we recommend are whey protein, carbohydrate formula, whether maltodextrin or dextrose or whatever you can find, a casein formula, a creatine monohydrate, and a caffeine supplement. If you take these five things and use them as part of an intelligent diet plan and a supplement to your intelligent diet plan, your diet plan needs to be locked in, you're going to get awesome results in the gym, your performance is going to improve, and you're going to look and feel great. Thanks heaps for watching.